Welcome to my review of Hotel de Vin in Glasgow. Um, we got a really good cheap deal, um, sort of 3rd of January, New Year's over, and they're obviously trying to fill rooms. Um, luckily for us, 3rd uh, of January sort of lands on the weekend and we got the Monday off. So we thought it would be a, an ideal time to get a really cheap deal on a fancy hotel. So this is the room. Um, we've got the grand room it's called. Let me just pan around here. Um, it's pretty big. Um, it's all all the way around. We got a, an upgrade for twenty five pound from the classic room to the grand room. The total cost was a hundred and sixty nine pounds, but that also includes our breakfast and our dinner and a bottle of wine. So you know, I was going to go out and you know probably go for a meal in Alaska somewhere. It would have cost me sixty quid. And I thought, well, just book this room instead with the, pa the whole package. I'll show you the uh, the, um, the toilet and the bathroom. It's pretty big. It's black. It's dark. Fancy taps. Um, black wallpaper. Sort of walk-in shower. You just kind of walk all the way in and turn it on. Um, place to look at yourself in the mirror, and uh, well, that's that's it. I'm gonna, I'm obviously gonna comment on the actual room in the hotel, but we only just got here, um, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning before I actually comment on what I think of this hotel and what I think of the room, the value of the room. Um, we'll go into sort of the actual review later on, but that's that's it. Um, that's for just now. I'll cut the video here, and I will see you in the morning. Hotel Devin Review, we stayed in the uh, Pomery room, um, it's a very good room, it's right off of the main hallway and reception, um, we're on the ground floor so there's a little bit of noise from up the stair and um, just with the old floorboards, I'd probably advise if you were going um, to this hotel that you request a room on one of the higher floors, I think it's probably only two floors so maybe in the, the first floor. Um, the room itself is really nice, um, the dining was excellent, I'll put in a little couple of it. We had a meal there last night and um, I drank too much red wine. It was like a silver service almost how they, um, they served us. Um, it's very intimate dining. Um, the breakfast was also qu quite good. I wouldn't say that it was spectacular. Um, Jacqueline had the fresh toast which looked really good. Um, I had the fully cooked breakfast and a fully cooked breakfast, you know, it's a fully cooked breakfast. Um, fairly standard. Um, I wouldn't say it's special but it was good. Um, the location of the hotel is really good. Um, it's probably it's about a five ten minute walk to Byers Road, um, and then from Byers Road you can get like the subway to anywhere you need to in Glasgow. Um, there's also plenty of shops in Byers Road as well. Mini bar was a bit of a rip off. Um, they were wanting four pounds for a tin of crisps, so I just went down to Byers Road um, and got some crisps there instead. Um, TV was excellent. Um, the big big TV, um, I think it's like a, I think it's maybe like a 50 inch TV in this room um, and it had plenty of channels on it, uh, internet connections also um, really good, um, there's no password for the internet, you just kind of go on, put in your email address and then that's you in, um, which which is really good, so yeah I, I give this um, hotel a thumbs up, um, I definitely stay here again, um, I wouldn't probably pay the price that they're asking for on the website. I got this through a sort of January promotion. They're obviously trying to fill the, the beds or the rooms for January because it's a quiet time of year. Um, so I'm not sure I'd pay full price to stay in this hotel. Um, you're looking at, I think, about £150 per room. I might be wrong. Um, I think it would be a little bit lower than that. Um, it's a really nice hotel, though. Um, highly recommended.